NetApp deduplication technology significantly reduces capacity requirements on primary storage. Savings between 50 and 70 percent are common on primary storage in virtual environments. The savings achieved with dedupe on primary storage enables savings for backup and recovery, replication, and disaster recovery. Space-efficient backups utilizing NetApp Snapshot technology can be created in the Virtual Storage Console Backup and Recovery feature, which has been integrated directly into the vSphere client. Here in the Virtual Storage Console, you can review the status of storage objects connected to the vSphere environment. It's possible to view the capacity utilization of both SAN and NAS data stores and the underlying NetApp volumes and aggregates that contain them. The NetApp Snap Manager for Virtual Infrastructure product has now been integrated into the VSC in the Backup and Recovery tab. This is where backup jobs are created and managed, as well as where you can go to access backup history and perform restores. However, the backup and recovery capabilities of the VSC can also be accessed in the context menu of any VM or data store. Here I'll perform a quick backup of a VM and I'll just name it One Time Backup. Backups can also be replicated off-site using NetApp Snap Mirror. The backup takes just a couple seconds to complete and now you can perform a restore from that backup through the same context menu. Here you can see the backup that was just created as well as any other backup containing this virtual machine. Select the backup you want to restore from and then you can select individual virtual disks to restore. You can select alternate locations to restore to, or you can restore and restart the entire virtual machine. I'll speed up the video a little while the restore is performed and the VSC automates all the steps necessary to recover and restart this VM. And here's the recovered VM after the restore has been completed. For environments that require the capability to perform up to the minute application restores and roll forward log management, NetApp provides the Snap Manager suite of products which support Microsoft Exchange, SQL, and SharePoint. These products offload application backups to the array using storage snapshots and can automatically replicate backups to an offsite location. Here's a VM running NetApp Snap Manager for SQL Server. I'll access the NetApp Snap Manager for SQL interface and perform a backup of this database. Here I select the option to replicate this backup to the remote site using Snap Mirror and then run the backup. I'll speed the video up again while Snap Manager for SQL automates the creation of a NetApp snapshot containing the backup, mounts the snapshot to the server and performs a verification of the database that was just captured in the backup. After the backup completes, let's take a look at the available backup history. Here we have a history of nine backups of this database, and here's the backup that we just created and verified. As we saw earlier, both the VSC and Snap Manager applications can replicate backups offsite using NetApp Snap Mirror technology. Snap Mirror is dedupe aware, so only unique data is replicated, and the NetApp operating system also provides free native compression capabilities for efficient network utilization. NetApp allows the backups replicated by the VSC and Snap Manager to be used for disaster recovery. The savings gained by deduplicating primary storage and replicating with dedupe-aware Snap Mirror can help finance storage for the DR site and enable you to protect and recover more of the environment. NetApp FlexClone technology allows creation of DR test environments for almost zero cost and is integrated with VMware's Site Recovery Manager product. Using VMware vSphere Site Recovery Manager and the NetApp Disaster Recovery Adapter, you can automate Snap Mirror failover, storage recovery, and the startup of virtual machines at the recovery site. Let's run a recovery plan and recover the SQL Server we saw earlier. I'll speed up the video again while SRM automates storage failover and connection of all replicated SAN or NAS storage devices to the vSphere environment at the recovery site and the startup of the SQL VM. The recovery plan is complete and the VM has been started and I'll connect to the console of the VM.
This SQL Server uses RDM devices to store the database, so we'll check the NetApp Snap Drive software to ensure that the RDM devices have been connected. Let's take a look at Snap Manager for SQL Server. In the Snap Manager for SQL interface, we can see that all the backups created at the production site have been replicated here to the recovery site and are available for restores if needed. Thanks for watching this demonstration of some of the NetApp data protection and disaster recovery capabilities provided by the combination of NetApp and VMware technologies.